use the plastic. Okay, this is my first hole of the day. It was ringing up a solid 96, which is on the dais. Solid 96 is usually around the uh, large scent, so I thought for sure out in the field that we're in that it was going to be a large scent. As soon as I got it out, rang up a solid 55, and it looks like a, so a shotgun slug. Oh well. I hope it was good luck for somebody at one time and hit their deer, but for me, it wasn't my large scent. There's Bill out in the field, and I am off the field. This is, uh, according to the landowner, an old 1800s road that they used to drive wagons down because there's a spring down there somewhere. So, figured, let's go find a two cent piece. I'm close, it's a one cent piece. And it is a memorial. Well, how do you like that? Well, I'm still on the wagon trail hoping for that two cent piece. But uh, right after my mem memorial penny, I got a piece of silver. That's my first silver in quite a while. No idea what the date is on it. I can't see. But she's so pretty. I like her. All right, we're back at uh, old permission that we did last fall. Uh, the corn is down now, but uh, this is a permission that's not too far from where we live, and uh, it's a good place to get at for a couple hours after work. Uh, nice, great big cornfield, 1800s house over here. You can't see it, but the barn. Um, this used to be a, a trail through here that um, I used to take back in the 1800s through this main town over here. And uh, on top of the cornfield here on this edge, coming along the edge, and uh, I just got a nice signal and uh, dug this. I think it's a nice, going to be a flat button. Um, yeah, look at that. There's a shank on the back. Kind of bend over a little bit, but... Uh, yeah, there's tons of brick and pottery in here. We we know there was an old house here. We dug some old buttons and old coins here last fall, and uh, the winter chased us out. So we're back. They did a deep plow here in the spring, and uh, we're back again. And uh, first target of the night, nice flat button. All right, see you soon. Alright, next up to bet is another memorial. Not sure what the year is. Lincoln's upside down. There we go. Another memorial. Looks like it's copper, so probably 1970s, but I can't tell yet. Alright, keep on going. Okay, sorry, it's getting a little dark in here now, but my next hole looks like a flat button. I don't see anything on it. The shank is smashed. Looks like it used to have gold on the back and possibly uh, writing on it. It's getting a little darker in the woods to see uh, see it too clearly. I'm going to try putting the light on my camera, on my phone, and see if I can see anything. If I do, I'll get back to you. If not, just a flat button. That's about it. Chris is, Chris is right over here. He came out of the, the woods on that other trail. He said there's a ton of iron in there. So Dad's going to be picking around with a little coil. But uh, got another flat button. I mean, we know there's coins here. So hopefully we'll be on them soon. All right. Back at you. All right. We're going to do a wrap up now. We didn't find much, but enough for a... 15 minute video I believe and here's Bill's findings right here uh, he's got two uh, small flat buttons and a flattened musket ball and I got a shotgun slug doesn't look like it hit the deer flat button three three memorials that's the find of the day 
my nice hinge probably can't see it there we go and then I got this stinky piece piece of silver here not much but it's my first silver in a long time so there you have it not everybody gets large scents every time and it's not bad we've only been here maybe three hours or so just a quick after work trip yeah and it was much better than being at work all right see you in the next one